Hey all. So, what can I say about it? Frustration, 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 frustration. I am a very frustrated person. And it's all due to this game. The Grail is ours. And though Brother Lorenzo and Gorium disappear during the fighting, we will protect that for which we have spilled our blood. You must lead Brother Calistarius and the remnants of Squad Lorenzo back toward the main force of the First Company. May the Angel grant you the strength to prevail. Sergeant of the Squad, accept your orders. Only one squad is available. You will deploy your Terminators here. You will be in the very midst of the enemy. Move your men to this location. Do not rest until the relic is secure. Our Russian burns a path for the shadows. Okay, so yeah, I'm frustrated. This is the second, er, not the second time, this is actually the third time trying to record Escape Route. I've already had not one, but two crashes. So I'm quite annoyed about that. So what's happening? So Escape Route, if it will load already. Are you going to load for me? Thank you. Escape route basically has this, uh, um, not using the sergeant or one of the terminators that we had in the last mission. We're down to five marines. We essentially have um, four spawn points in a basically sort of main area, which we'll call um, the uh, maze corridors over here. There's lots of broken doors in the middle here, and uh, that's basically our, our route that we're going to be taking. Over here, as you can see, there's a mass amount of uh, gene slayer spawns, but they're sort of in this very tight area, and um, it's hard for them to sort of make it use of that area. It's that area is like a last effort sort of area, basically. Um, not really a really strong point for them. So we're gonna have this guy spawn here. Maybe we'll have this guy spawn there. We basically have these five guys to go with, and we have no sergeant to do reroll. So you know what we what we get is what we get. You're basically going to shoot here. Apparently our librarian managed to pick up the artifact, which is kind of cool. Whoever gets the artifact is random, and sometimes it won't be the guy that you want to have it. And uh, in this case, this is not actually a bad person to be carrying it, because the librarians, you know, it's actually important unit already. I don't want him basically losing it anyways. Or I don't want him dying anyways, so... Hey, we finally blew up the door. And yeah, as you can see at the start of this mission, we're just doing a whole lot of door shooting with these guys. And I also moved these uh, two guys initially up here, the librarian and the other guy, just to get to these doors. So this guy can open this door. This guy can open that door. If I want to, he can basically start shooting at this door. Now will be our first turn. So that's done. What we're basically going to be doing here is basically having um, one guy sort of take the lead, knocking out doors as he goes. I guess we'll do it with this guy. And he's basically just going to shoot whatever doors he can get to. And he's already doing a fantastic job of it. I should move him two more since we got the CP for it. Excellent. He destroyed one more door, and I don't think he'll get this one, but nope, didn't get it. Okay, he's going to basically step it all away for now. He's basically he, he was um I I would take him all the way straight up there, but since he destroyed so many doors already, um we're basically just going to have one of these guys advance behind him now, and the purpose of this guy. 
obey to try and shoot this door. And the main reason for getting rid of all these doors as quickly as possible is because it gives you a line of sight on like the, you know, the sixth spawn area, so to speak. If you have access to um, seeing all the way down there, then obviously it's really great to uh, deal with the enemy. And we don't really ha have to put these guys in Overwatch, this guy can move two more. And he failed completely to open it up, but oh well. The Librarian is basically going to follow him. You're going to follow him. Alright, so at this point, um, there's only one door really to worry about. And apparently there's only one gene stealer behind that door besides that blip there. It's also this guy here. Um, we're basically going to have this guy continue to shoot at this door for now. He'll shoot once. And he's basically going to fail to shoot it, but oh well. What we're basically going to want to do here, I'm going to basically try and put these guys sort of in these corridors down here. The, the original bolters. And the purpose for doing this is that one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that guy's actually in a bad spot. Whatever. This guy can just force barrier for the initial bit. The purpose basically for putting these, you know, guys sort of in this sort of position is so that they can sort of guard these hallways, prevent um, enemies from uh, making piling up over here, basically. Okay, Mr. Librarian, you're going to basically get some shots on this door. Blow it up, please. And he failed completely. But oh well. We're just going to keep moving these guys forward for now. But yeah, these guys will be guiding over here, and then um, we'll have the other three going up the path. Middly. Target. Now, that's probably the only time you're ever going to see it, but that didn't really have to destroy that door because it's broken. Note that they basically have, you know, three dice rolls, much like as they do with um, uh, attacking a Marine. But unlike a Marine, they actually have to also just, um, hit a six to destroy it, so they have a higher chance to destroy doors, Gene Steelers. But they still have to roll six, and that's sort of one of the things about this game. All right, um, we're gonna take a risk that hope my game won't crash. I was thinking about possibly saving the game um, at some point, you know, just halfway through, and then like saving again, maybe at another point when we're closer to finishing. We'll try shooting this guy, and we'll try shooting that guy. And since we shot both of them. This guy's just going to keep advancing. I think we're going to have this guy actually move all the way up here. You're going to move all the way up here. And these guys... Since there's a guy right here, we're going to put him on Overwatch just right away. I think he can possibly take that guy there. This guy, however, he's going to try and move all the way up to here. Basically, as you can probably guess, get in position to start shooting up in that direction. We'll leave one CP roll for this guy, and then that'll be it for this turn. But before we uh, continue, I'm going to save the game. I know this might will probably, you know, this will most likely crash the game. Because that's what seems to happen whenever I save. It'll just crash the next turn after, but um, I figure it's better to you know, have crashes when I know they're going to happen rather than crashes when I don't. And I'll also note, by the way, that even though you know I know it's going to crash and it actually did crash there, it's also an advantage that I know at least I'll be at least uh, about halfway through the game at this point, the mission, which is good. I know I'm halfway through, I know it's, we're, not, we're very close to sort of winning. 
And if it does crash at you know, some point after this, at least I'll have a, a drop back point to it. I'll be a lot closer to finishing than starting all over again. So the Gene Slayers were the first Eternity race to be encountered by Imperium men. I'll note that uh, in like, you know, uh, 40k lore, the Tyranids are uh, quite a vicious race, but anyhow. He was dead. Now I don't know if you can see it, but for some reason this text box sometimes turns black to text. I don't know what causes that, I actually prefer it to stay white, but... Uh, it's just one of those things about this game, right? There's there's a lot of issues with this game, sadly. Now, I'll note that there are some Dean Steelers sort of popping up over there. I still have to worry about them a little bit. But I don't have to worry about them just yet. What we're going to do, we're just going to have this guy go here. I would have liked to have him turn this way, but for now we can't really make him do that. This guy, as you can see, he has some friends up here to sort of deal with. But he's still far away back, so... Can't read the text to see if I've hit these guys or not. Alright, so I didn't kill a single one of them. That's fine. That's dandy. This guy's gonna go over Overwatch here. And this guy's basically going to just follow along with this guy over here. Now, because I got some Tyranids, or not Tyranids, but Gene Slayers coming from this direction, this guy's actually going to turn around. And we're basically going to have him just sort of deal with these guys that are going to come in this sort of direction. So you're going to go there. Now, I should be safe to uh, end the turn here because there's no one that I'm going to be able to kill, I don't think, in this uh, turn. So we'll do that. So he gets right on top of them. They're gonna get on top of him soon. They're gonna try and uh, overwhelm the librarian. Nice, we got a nice big CP roll. That's perfect. Because it means that I can basically um, get my librarian to safety due to that reason. So this is one of the reasons that this mission is so damn easy. All you really have to do is just basically uh, get your librarian or whoever's holding it out to here. Um, so basically, what we're gonna do is have this move guy move here. And he basically took, you know, all of CP and one CP to do that. We're gonna keep moving him, open the door, move here. You can still open that door. And we're just going to put a force barrier pretty much right there. So, that's, you know, that's pretty much game. At this point, this guy's got full complement of CPs. Next turn, he's going to make it. We're just going to move this guy move here. This guy didn't get a chance really to turn around and shoot these guys, but he can do so now. Perfect. Go over wash, maybe kill that guy if possible. You'll go guard. This guy will overwatch. So yeah, um, isn't it so, it's actually an easy mission. I realize it's also easy because my librarian is holding the thing there and this is, you know, sort of what I already do anyways, just to sort of get my guys out, send some guys shooting like mad all the way up to the doors here and then guard the quarters this way. Anyhow, we're going to just, you know, again, save the mission. And then I'll just cut the recording, crash, and then we'll be right back here yet again. Alright, let's finish off this uh, mission. Be done with it. So this will be undoubtedly be the last um, turn in this specific mission just because the library is so damn close to the exit with the artifact. We are just going to basically let the um, next turn play out. I'll probably lose a few Marines just because, you know, 
Uh, Claudio's on Overwatch, and he might be able to kill maybe one or two of them lucky, but uh, most likely he'll be overwhelmed. And then the other guy's also got, you know, two squares in front of him with a genius slur, which is going to probably kill him. But let's see how this turns out, and then we'll finish off the mission. And of course he died. Bye bye. Here's some Lee battles. If you know me actually winning. So as you can see, Claudio is a little bit better at melee than the other uh, Marines because he has two claws and because he gets a plus one to uh, his highest dice. Ah, I didn't know there was actually an achievement like that. So there's Red first. Have a Terminator actually survive three battles. That guy had his Bolter Sham. All right, let's just get this done and, you know, be on with this mission. Honor my shields. Sel um, Calisteris must survive the escape route mission. So there's that achievement out of the way. Hooray! I only lost one guy. So, yep, we're done with, uh, I guess, what we'll call the free core librarian missions. Um, I think just one more after this with. Uh, the next mission, but whatever. Hopefully I won't have too many crashes like this in the next four missions. You know, for like the finales of uh, Space Hulk, where we're basically going to deal with the Gene Steelers on Space Hulk. Other than that, take care.